With over 300 different species of plants that they feed on, Japanese beetles are almost inevitable in our landscape. These metallic green and brown beetles are invasive and they skeletonize leaves and destroy fruits and flowers of many different plants. And to add insult to injury, they tend to show up in high numbers, making management difficult. Adult Japanese beetles emerge from the ground and begin actively feeding in June and July. During this time, females will lay eggs in the soil, which will hatch into white grubs, which feed on turf until they mature and overwinter. Throughout July and August, you can deal with Japanese beetles by hand-picking them off of easy-to-reach plants and throwing them into a bucket of soapy water. This is best to do in the evening, around 7 p.m., and must be done daily to every other day to keep Japanese beetle populations low. Insecticidal options include topical sprays of active ingredients like bifenthrin or carbaryl, which will give your plants about two weeks of protection until a reapplication is needed. Organic options like neem or pyola will give your plants about one week of protection until reapplication. Remember to never spray flowers to avoid harming pollinators. You can also spray only in the evenings or wait until the flowers are no longer blooming. To prepare for the beetles next year, there are systemic options such as imidacloprid that you can use in May. You can also treat your turf for white grub beetles, but remember, controlling this scrub stage does not prevent adult beetles from flying in from other areas. We also strongly discourage the use of Japanese beetle traps because they're going to be attracting the beetles to your landscape and they often attract more than the trap can actually handle. Japanese beetles cause our plants to look not so great, but they rarely ever kill the plant itself. And while there's no silver bullet for control, there are options that can help you protect your plants.